Hi everybody, this is TJ with the PTU Trend Jumper Trading Strategy and NetPix.com. In the last two videos, I talked to you about the importance of dynamic targets and also how we trail a second position using trend jumper techniques. What I wanted to show you today, you may have picked up on this on the last couple videos, is how simple this strategy really is. It's the kind of strategy that you learn once and you can continue to use it for a lifetime. It works on multiple markets, multiple charts, you learn it once and you could apply it to many different types of trade techniques, whether it be day trading, swing trading, forex, futures, stocks, you could even trade options. We never know how long a market is going to remain hot, what the next hot market will be. I know that markets that we're trading today are not the same as the markets that we were trading years ago. So what do you do when markets change? Well, if you've got the trend jumper, you just apply it to the chart, and if the markets are moving, the trend jumper is going to work for you. And the reason why is because of how it's designed. It's based on near-term support and resistance, finding that place and time from which to jump off of to reach for high percentage targets. It's pure price action. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go through a bunch of charts and a bunch of setups, and I'm going to show you how simple this is. It's the same strategy on everything that I show you. Let's start with today's Russell E-mini trade. The Russell E-mini is a fantastic market to trade. We trade it every day in the live trade room. We typically start right at 9.30 Eastern. Here is a trade at 9.17. It started a little bit before our start time. Would have been a good trade. But by the time 9.30 came, it had already gone too far, too fast. We're not going to chase it. And because we believe in trade plans and sticking with our rules, we're just waiting for our next setup. And that comes right here. In this case, it's a short trade. The reason we know it's a short trade is because the entire trade is set up below the setup bar. And when you click on the bar, you get the entire trade laid out for you here in the data window your entry, your targets, your stop. I'm only showing two targets in this particular market. We don't typically use a third target, but we could. You could put a third target on here if you want. At the first target is where we move our stop to break even. Notice it when it comes down, it misses that first target by one tick. So we're gonna keep our stop at the original location, which is right here, that blue dot, 1126.8. So we don't move our our stop down because it didn't hit the first target and it's a good thing too because if we did it would have come back up and stopped us out so we just stay with the trade takes a little bit of heat you can see I'll just draw this line here so we could see the stop more clearly stop holds it ultimately pushes lower we're gonna ignore this other setup we don't need to add to our position when we're trading futures there's no reason for it as you grow your account you just increase your position size accordingly based on smart risk management. Okay, but look what happens. It comes down, hits the target, and gives us a full winner. Now, we can trail the green dotted line with a second position. It's typically what we're going to do, and it ultimately comes back up, and it's going to stop out right around here, and the trailer in this case doesn't make as much as we've seen it make in the past. In fact, we could look further deeper into the session and we can see some nice running moves on the Russell. But today we ended with two points, one and done. That's all we needed. All right, I just switched over to crude oil futures. This is the exact same strategy. You'll see this time we're going for a long trade. There's three targets here, but we're going to go to the middle target. And just like the Russell trade, in this case, we go long right here. You can see the stop right there at that blue dot. Can we take the pink trade? We don't need to. It's not part of the trade plan. We're going to stay with the first trade. And you can see how it goes right up to that target, goes past it, maybe one or two ticks before it falls back down. What do we do with the trailer? Well, we lock in our one tick. We protect ourselves. It comes back down, and it ultimately hits the one tick. Look how accurate the target was. We protected our second half of the position by locking in one tick and we get out of that trade with a nifty 11 cents not the biggest trade in the world but it was still a winner the market in crude oil has been very tight lately the volatility has come down maybe it's summer trading dog days of August whatever you could see earlier there was a much bigger trade 
The trailer would have done quite a bit better, but that's before our start time. And again, we stick to our trade plan rules, and that's how we keep on winning. Crude oil has been perfect all week without a single losing trade, sticking with our plan. I just showed you the Russell. Crude oil, the exact same strategy. Let's look at something altogether different. Here's a look at an end of day chart. This is a daily chart. It's the cable, the pound US uh, Forex chart dating back to June. Notice the exact same setup, the exact same trades. The strategy is the same. The long trade above the setup bar. All three targets, you can take a partial profit or you can just take your profit at the middle target or the third target. I like to take a partial at each one of these because of the risk reward ratio so good target one it's almost a one to one ratio that's nearly one and a half to one that's nearly two to one same technique trail the jump line based on the last bar to close above the jump line so the jump line on this bar is down here it doesn't stop out we don't move it until it closes above again if you watch one of the prior videos yesterday's video actually you'll see what I mean this trade moves all the way up to here, basically stopping out right around here. Many hundreds of pips on that trade. Okay, can you add to your position right here? Some of us do like to add to our position because with Forex, you can catch some really strong moves. So if you do add to your position here, obviously that's a small loss. As you can see, the, the move up has run out of gas. But look what happens as it comes down. We're able to pick up a nice short the exact same strategy. I don't have to relearn anything. Click on the bar. There are the numbers, entry, targets, stop, trail the green dotted line. This trade is still going. It's hit target one, target two, target three, and the trailer is right above the jump line, right there. And so as each bar closes, we get into our platform and just continue to move our stop. Can we add to our position right here? that's optional I would make it break this swing low ask, ask for a little extra confirmation just to make sure it can get through that's a pretty big number at 6800 down here 68,000 depending on how you use that extra digit so that's a big level okay or you could just stay with the original trade but the same strategy learn it once use it across multiple markets how about the DAX? This trades in Germany in the Eurex exchange. We start at 9 a.m. Eurex time. You get a setup right here, the yellow trade, right at 9. Look, one second past our start time. This should look familiar to you. Click on the bar. There's your trade. Enter at the little plus sign. Going to the middle target. Moving our stop when we get to target 1. And trailing the green dotted line. And again, this one didn't quite get as much as other moves but it was a nice trade over 35 points at 25 euros per point one and done it's all we need this market continues to reach new record profit levels today was no different sometimes we'll do a few extra things to our trade plan with the euro yen five minute chart because we have to pay spread we're not interested in small trade setups we're interested in the trade, we're just not interested in the targets. So when we get a small trade, we're going to ignore the targets and we're going to go with a 15 and 25 pip target level and trade a third position trailing the purple line. So we change some of the settings to accommodate a time-based chart because time is an additional element. This is not a tick chart, it's not a range bar. The bar is going to close at the end of the time limit no matter what happens. And sometimes it can be very busy with a lot of trades, like what happens after the news event. And sometimes it will be very tight. So we want to take advantage of these moves. Uh, today we had a really great trade. We're allowed to add to our position here on the pink trade. It comes down, picks up 25, 15 and 25 pips on each of these trades and trails the purple line all the way down to here where it stops out. It's the same strategy, different settings, and we allow ourselves that one extra little maneuver that we can do when the 
targets aren't large enough to accommodate for spread, we go for bigger targets. But the trend jumper is putting us into the moves. Today's session ended with 88 pips. How about stocks and options? Definitely works on stocks and options. We do a little customizing because of the range of price, anywhere from a, a $10 stock to a $1,000 stock. For example, this is a spider. It's around, well, it's in the 190s. We use a few extra lines, but they're the same indicators. We're just using them to achieve certain things. But you'll notice the exact same uh, dynamic here. You get the, the long trade. You're able to take some profit at each one of these target levels. We're going to trail. You could trail the blue line. You could trail the green line for a bigger position. You could trade options. The most recent trade is a short. Learn it once, use it on many markets. Can you buy a simple put at this entry? 192.95, slightly in the money put option? You certainly can. How about the free Euro USD that we just gave away? Nice short here, comes all the way down, stop holds. This short never triggers in, it still stays short here, never goes long. You can take another short here if you want, just hit this target a couple days ago. Same strategy, same approach. How about T-bond futures? Start at 8.30 Central Standard Time. Somewhere around in here. First trade. Look what happens. You should be familiar with this. Move your stop to lock in one tick. Trail the green dotted line. It's full target. How about unleaded gas futures? Here's a 33 tick momentum bar. Start right at 9 o'clock. Trade sets up at 9.05. This is today, everybody. Same setup, same everything. Money management, lock in a tick. Take your profit at the target. Trail the green dotted line all the way up to here for a nice big trade. One and done. All right, I've showed you a lot of different examples. I've barely scratched the surface. I haven't shown you gold. I haven't shown you a number of Forex pairs, different time frames, other futures. There's so much you could do, many different stocks, ETFs. The trend jumpers for real because it's based on price action. Make sure you sign up for one of our live demos coming up this week where you can see more of the trend jumper in action. Thanks for joining me on this video, everybody. This is TJ with the PTU Trend Jumper at netpicks.com. See you soon.